Hey, how's it going? For today, I've got a bunch of stuff planned. So, one of the things is we're doing some expansion on the base. So the best way to go, I think it's up, kind of keep everything somewhat compact. We're gonna be putting out some new tables and stations today. So there's two things I wanna build. One of them we have the stuff for, the second one we don't. So, what we have here is a stone oven. So the main thing we're missing on this is the clay mortar. I think I know where to get it. I did a little bit of looking online, mainly because I did a ton of resource farming and couldn't find it anywhere around here. And good thing I looked because it is nowhere around here. However, I did get everything that we need for the furnace. So that's gonna be mainly the heavy chitin that we were missing. I've got quite a bit of that. Smacked around some of the cockroaches around. Got plenty of that. Stone brick, we haven't made any of that yet. We need to make some. I think we just do that in the stone cutter or the grinder, whatever it's called. Resin we got enough of and wood we got enough of. And that'll kind of get us those two items. Now, one of the things that I saw was that the clay is made over here in the windmill. But we don't have the recipe for it. I think it's because we don't have the actual clay discovered yet. So we'll try to fix that today. Let me show you on the map where I heard it was. So we just moved our treehouse from down in this area all the way up here because this is kind of where we're working at. New resources, new people to deal with. I thought it would be easier. However, all of the clay is way down here. <laughs> I mean, it's the way it goes, dude. We're not moving the treehouse again, but there's two ways we can get here. One, right around this area when I was doing the farming for the lizards. There's a place to cross, right? You can actually walk across some branches. Or, from like right up in here, you should be able to just jump off and glide across. We're probably going to take the safer way and go over here, just because I do not want to get halfway across. And land in the water. We have had some issues with gliding into the water. And it's raining. Ah, dude, it's raining. So let's do this, man. Let's go up top. Take a look. And as it's raining, so yeah, we lost our campfire and our cauldron. Because we didn't have a cover on it, it should be safe now. Should be fine to have under here. So up top, we're going to have to do the exact same thing. Now we're going to keep it pretty simple. What I wanted to do is put the furnace on one side and the oven on the other. I think kind of works out right. They're both hot. They both have a lot of smoke and stuff. So having them outside would be probably beneficial. We're small, man. we got tiny lungs. So I think what we need to do is just grab some wood. What kind of wood do we need? We're going to be using some pillars for sure. We need wooden bark. That's right. Most of that stuff is bark. And then I'm not too sure what to do about the roof. So there's a couple different ways we could do the roof. I was thinking about using some of the curved ones like this, just so that it somewhat matches. Not exactly sure how that'll work out, but if we do just a piece like this, right? Just the uh, the up and down. That might be a good cover for right here. And it should be tall enough for everything. So let's grab a couple things. We'll build that. We'll head over, see about the clay, and then come back and finish building the oven and stuff. Kind of excited, man. Kind of excited. New stuff is always fun. So let's grab some regular wood. Let's grab a little bit of stone because we need to use the stone cutter. Stone cutter? Grinder? I'm getting games mixed up, man. They're all called different stuff. Stone cutter. It is a stone cutter. And then some bark should be right here. And there's our heavy chitin. We got 15 of them. That should be enough, I'm hoping. So stone brick. Oh, we need some flint too. Not a problem. We are full on flint. Not that one. Let's take a full stack. It's all of our inventory there still. We're missing something. Stuff always goes missing, dude. I'm telling you what. I can't wait for the storage bug to get fixed. Alright, stone break. It doesn't say that we unlocked anything. So let's just make up quite a few of these. It'll be fun. We will definitely use them later. Let's just do a stack of 20. Alright, so that's one stack of those. Nothing unlocked. Fantastic. I was <laughs> kind of hoping we get something else. Let's go ahead and set up our pillars. Can we not? Oh, that's going to mess them up, huh? Interesting. So we can't have the railings and that. Can we put the railings down after? So you can either do one or two ways. You can do it like this and set it down afterwards, or you can use the curved ones. I kind of like the curved ones, but it doesn't really work with, well, think, well, let's try it. Might look a little bit better. We'll have to see how it works out with our roof, right? Make sure it doesn't look too weird. All right, you right there. Is one high enough? 
It should be. It's the whole point of doing this one type of roof. Are we missing fiber? Boy, I tell you what, it's always something, dude. Let's grab a stack of that real quick. And is our bed set for our respawn point? It is. I did some, uh, <laughs> did some farming and stuff down in the swamp. Changed stuff around, and I don't remember if I set it back right. Alright, let's grab two stacks, just in case. And this is actually almost done. We're doing up, and a down. Easy. Will you clip? There you go. That should work, man. That should be plenty fine, dude. Let's put our other... That's interesting. It clips with that one. It just didn't clip in the corner. Hmm. It's all good, though. It's all good, man. I like the curved ones anyways. All right, let's do a couple more of you. And then I think for the top, we're going to close that part in. Just so that it's kind of closing on the sides. I think that'll look kind of cool. We've got those wooden pieces that kind of match for that. And before we get too far, let's look at something. So that'll fit, and that'll fit. Ah, oh, dude, that's fantastic, man. I like it, dude. I like it. All right, let's get our other pillar down. Is it the pillar we're missing? It is. Maybe. Easy. Possibly. All right, let's do these side pieces, and we are done with this. Of course, the sun comes out. I like it. I like it. We are getting kind of towards the evening. We should be able to get over to the other island and kind of get set up over there before dark. I hope. If not, we'll just sleep here and kind of go from there. That's not bad, man. Now, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and just put a cover across this. Might be kind of claustrophobic. We'll have to see what it looks like. Is that the... It's the roof. Like this. That way we are totally protected. So we come up, we run in, we've got our forge, and we've got our oven, whatever it's called. Do we have everything on us? If not, we'll grab it, we'll build this. So we just need... Resin and heavy chitin. Oh, dude, that's not too bad. Let's grab it real quick. We'll set that one out and see what it unlocks. Hopefully there's some new recipes in that. I mean, it should be. It's a whole new piece of equipment. So is this, and I think it was resin, right? Nice, man. Nice. It's the little furnace. So let's set it all the way back. So we got a buildable... Uh, that's... Wait, what? Is that another forge? Oh, that's an oven. That's why. So we need the clay mortar again, and then fiber string. Fiber string, we get making that with the fiber down in the... The loom, right? So not a big deal. How big is this? You know... We might be able to do something to have that in here. We could always do some more of these right here. Have it loop up again and put this right here. Let's try it. Let's try it just to see what it looks like. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get all this stuff. Use it for later. I just, <laughs> I just farmed all that up right before we started recording. Oh, you know what? We got the chimney ones, too. Let's do the chimney one here. You gotta let the smoke out, dude. You don't want too much smoke accumulating. We should have probably done it on that side. I'll, I'll probably play with that later. Just to change it around. Easy, dude. Easy. Just clip in where you're supposed to, man. Clip where I want you to, not where you want to. There we go, that'll work. That kind of works too, man. Let's go ahead and set these up again. And we'll see how it looks from down below. Hopefully it doesn't look too weird. I do like the curves, though. Changes it up, man. That way it's not always straight, you know? The straight pieces. Alright, we got one of the... Oh, we don't have the stuff. But that'll fit right here, right? It will. Ah, dude, that is awesome, man. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's jump down. Let's close the door. You don't want bugs coming in. I don't know. It's very awkward, 
but I really, really like it. <laughs> Probably because it's so awkward. The kind of curves on the railings, not too sure about them. But again, at least it's not square and flat like usual. It's good, man. It's good. I like our little chimney there. That way, like I said, it lets us smoke out. We should definitely put one probably in the middle right here. Middle here. Should have done the middle on the back too, but it's not bad, dude. It is growing. <laughs> it's getting big. All right, let's empty our inventory. We will probably sleep. It's almost that time of day. By the time I get inventory done, we, I mean, we could take some stuff and sleep along the way. Let's eat some food. Eat another one. Eat another one. There we go. I need to make some bandages. I need to make some of the medical brew. We're good on arrows. I just repaired since I got back from farming, so that's good. Do we have some food already made? We don't. We've ate it all. Wonder if we should try something new this time. So we've got some jerky. That's just a roach meat. We want something that has at least 60 on the nourishment. That's what we've been eating. I think that's all made over here in the cauldron. We've got some stuff for the spider stew. That's cold protection. Interesting. A lot of this stuff is cold protection. That's the flour, but that uses a lot of the fiber, I think, right? Let's do some of this. Let's do the, uh, the fate chowder. That's going to be beetle heart, insect fat, and garlic leaf. We should have a ton of each of those. We've got this. We definitely have the hearts. Where is the garlic? I think I moved it in here. It's it's kind of like both, right? Oh, we've only got ten. It's a building resource, and it's for cooking. So it's kind of a two-way thing. Actually, we got a lot of it. It's just in different containers. But I'll tell you what, it was in that one. Now it's gone. It's over here. I didn't move it, but whatever. Now, is that going to be a two-to-one ratio as well? It's a one-to-one. -one. Hmm. The other thing about the other ones we had is it was making two of them. I forget what it was that we were eating. Let's go ahead and just make a... Where's it at? On our... There we go. There's ten there. And that'll be our food for right now. I like doing different stuff, man. Just to change it up. And that's going to give us cold protection as well. And it can heal our creatures. Nice, man. Nice. All right. Let me go ahead and get our storage all sorted out. I will go ahead and sleep. And I'm probably going to go ahead and take flight. And I will meet you somewhere down here. I won't cross. I'll wait. Probably over here by where the bridge is so I can actually show you where it's at. We'll cut across, try to grab some clay if we can, and see if there's new creatures over there and new resources besides the clay. We'll come back here. We'll build our other stone oven and the other thing if we had the stuff. We should. So we need five... We need at least 10 of the clay. I'm guessing, I don't know how much clay mortar you get from, or clay it is to clay mortar, because we don't have it unlocked. But we should have all that stuff. It doesn't, doesn't use any chitin or anything, so it's nothing weird. So, all right. I will see you in the morning. So over there is where we're heading to. We are on the south beach. Now it was kind of a little bit until nighttime, so I went ahead and grabbed stuff for a covered shelter, just in case. And then it looks like that the lizards did respawn. Which is fantastic. I need to do some more farming down here. Grab some more bones and hides. But you can go across right there if you're up high enough here. Jump and you can kind of glide. I kind of missed my uh <laughs> my landing. It happens, dude. My stamina ran out right at the last second. But if you keep going down the beach here. Show you where we're at on the map. Keep coming down here. Like I said, right about here is another place where you can cross. I'm guessing in case you don't have the glider suit and you want to go over there. Now, from what I've heard, did a tiny bit of research. It's a very, very hostile place. Don't forget, we are playing on peaceful mode. Obviously, they're not attacking us. So as long as we don't attack stuff, they won't attack us. But I still got that kind of same thing going, right? So if there's something that we want, see, we wanted those rocks. We're not going to just sneak up and take it. We need to fight the beetle that's in front of it. That way, it's still somewhat fair. I don't like cheating too much. It's just, dude, it's been so nice exploring off camera without having to worry about the bugs. Oh, uh, dude, it's been nice. So I think it's right here, right? I think this is the place you should be able to cross, especially with the glider suit, right? Yeah, everything's kind of shallow. There's another place down there, I think. Or this might be it. Oh, this is it. This is it, because it's got the branches and stuff that I saw. Yep, got some hornets, too. I'll tell you what, dude. They are not safe. So here's one of the grasshoppers that I saw, man. I'll tell you what. I don't know if we can tame these, but we are going to try. Oh, <gasps> where's my pick? 
Come on, dude! It got left! Oh, dude! That stupid storage bug, man. I'm telling you, I was trying to. So, one of my packs of bandages got left. I had to find it, and I guess whenever I put that back in here, we lost the pick. i tell you what. I'm going to do this the cheating way. I'm going to log out, log back in. I will be right at my base. I don't like doing that, but it was bugged. Tell you what, before we do that, speaking of bugs, Junior, let me smack you around. I don't know if we can tame this guy. But he's kind of got the boss symbol, right? I saw one of these on the other side of the land. He's doing a lot of damage. We got to time this right with our, our big swings. So you can't do a swing and then get out of the way. He's going to hit you regardless. It's kind of a kind of a thing. Big swing. It doesn't have the taming bar either. Ah, oh, that kind of sucks, man. They look fantastic for a grasshopper. Yep, there we go. One more, one more. Uh -huh. I heard we can get some good chitin from this guy. Oh, we've got a, a lubber roast. Nice, new item. How much uh, chitin? I've oh, got four pieces off of that. Is that new? It is. A lubber femur. Nice, nice. I like it. Gotta love new stuff, man. All right, well, like I was talking about, I'm going to log out, log back in. I'll be back at the tree. I'm just going to sleep there. It's going to be nighttime anyways, and I will see you right back over here in the morning. Once again. <laughs> That's the way it goes, dude. Early access, don't forget. Can't be mad. There's still bugs. Well, good morning. It is the next day. Got our stuff kind of sorted out. Got our pick. I don't know if we needed the pick for getting the clay. It's kind of one thing I was worried about, or else I would have left it, but... There's a bunch of those grasshoppers, it seems. I tell you what, man, like I said, <laughs> those things look fantastic, dude. I wish I could tame them. But we are going to move on. So I'm not too sure what all's over here. We're not doing a full exploration of this island. But I think those are the clay little nodes that we need to be hitting. And it's supposed to be some other lizards. Is that a regular gecko? It is. Hmm, interesting. There's supposed to be some different ones. We'll have to see. Let's try to... Hit that, and I wonder if we can get any aloe. Is that a thing? Nope. That would be kind of cool. Use that for bandages. I don't know if there's any more on the bandage list or for the healing brew, medical brew. A spike pickaxe. What? What is a spike pickaxe? Is that one of the new ones that we didn't make yet? Let's look at some. We might... We might be taking another trip back to the tree, dude. Oh, man, boy, I tell you what. I bet it is. I bet it's one of those new ones that we got. There it is, a, a spike one. Oh, dude, we have all that stuff, too. All right, look. I might delete this. We're going to show up back at base. We're going to make one of those. We'll come back. We'll be able to get our clay. Oh, dude. All right, give me a minute. I, I'll see you, base. Calm down, dude. You're not coming with me. Oh, we're back at base. Oh, dude, wait. Oh, we're back at base. Oh, dude, that was such a long run back. Oh, dude, whew. Glad we made it. I took the express ticket. Ah, oh, dude, it was trying to tell us something whenever we left our last pickup here. So, where did we make this thing at? I totally forgot about it. I'm not gonna lie. Totally forgot about it since the last video. We need... Nothing in there. Is it over here? Spike pickaxe. So, we need some fiber, resin, iron shard... And refined wood. Okay, got all that stuff right over here. Plenty of it. It's just having to make it, you know? That's the only thing. Farmed up some more of that, too. We've got some of this. I think we might need to make some more. Go ahead and take that, just in case. We've got some a fiber here. And I think it was resin, right? That should be it. Where you at? There we go. One of you! Alright, dude. That was a long run all the way back up here. I'll tell you what, we're going to leave everything in here. That way it's easy to see what we miss and what we uh, have on us. Just leave all of it. Everything that is not coming with us. Let's leave our old one too. Where is the new... Leave you? Leave you. So you're good. You're good. We're missing something already. I don't know what... But we're missing something. We should have had two of them over here. Two spots. All that, I think. It's back out. Everything's on the hot bar. Two sacks of that. Food, medical, that club. I think we're good, man. We're fine. We're fine. Look, we're not coming back. If I have to come back again, I'm just going to start the whole video over. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's the way that it goes sometimes. That's what happens when you play early access games, man. It's all good. Let's eat a little bit of our soup. Ah, oh, that's fantastic. What I've been doing, seeing how we're doing this so many times, I'll show you. Instead of just jumping off here, if you climb up the branch a ways, you can get a better launch point because... I don't know if it's been doing this, but whenever you jump and you deploy your wings, dude, it takes a huge chunk of stamina away. So, like right now, we'd already be probably down where that branch is. At about here already. It drops so fast, dude. And then if you're lucky, you can hit some of the branches along the way. But, if you hit a branch, it actually drops you in flight, so it's kind of a bad thing, right? We need to land over here, though, and get some stamina for the way across. Yep, up. Oh, we missed it, see? But we still got our stamina back. Up. Oh, we hit another one, see? <laughs> the, uh, the second time I came down here, I got all the way to the beach over there before I ran out of stamina, but see, as soon as it drops here in a second, dude, we're gonna fall like a rock out of the sky. You could make it on this one. You can kind of jump across that way. We might be too low. It's not just hitting it, but you gotta actually land on it because he runs forward. There we go. Probably gonna cut across right here. Yep, I didn't, uh, deployed it twice, lost stuff, double the stamina. Ah, oh, dude, boy, I tell you what. This is where the spider is. Just for reference, we kind of flew over our old base. It's not too bad. If they take and just totally remove the stamina use from the wingsuit, even for deploying it, it would be perfect, man. It would be perfect. It would be very, very nice. Oh, look, there's a... That's what we need is this tree right here. Because that is ground level. That is what I'm talking about. It's actually ground level. It's not halfway up on some roots. Hang tight, Junior. Save me a spot. I might be back to this one. All depends. We'll see how long we're up in the north side. Like I said, we got that guy we're talking to up there. Two of them. And there is some good resources, but... I mean, down here, you got the sunrise, dude. So nice, man. So nice. Right over here is our beach that we've been to for three times now. We'll get over there eventually in this video. I wonder if... We're gonna try it. I wonder if we can just make it all the way across. Even if we drop really fast, we should be able to land on that rock below us. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. The grasshopper should be up here. So, like I said, we'll grab some of the clay. I think we need 10 altogether. Hopefully, it's a 1 to 1 ratio whenever we make it. And then we'll kind of explore inland just a little bit. I don't want to go too long on this video because we still have to go back and craft up those things, right? And I'm not sure. They might send us down here for different parts of the storyline. Hey, what? There's some right here. Let's grab the easy to get to stuff. Well, I say easy to get to and it's like way up tall. We're not hitting it. We can't jump and do it either. Yeah, we can. Because that's not awkward to get the timing down on. Is it gonna storm again? Well, I tell you what, did we get some clay? We didn't. Oh, there we go. Oh, a bunch of stuff. Wait, what? There's clay for the building parts. Floors, pillars. Interesting. I didn't see that. Again, like I said, man, when I do my research, it's like minimal. <laughs> I look up just enough to show me what I need to find. And then I try not to do these spoilers. Oh, that's a ton of stuff. That looks so nice, man. I guess that's why we find so much down here, because there's so much of the that you can do with it, right? It's not showing me any of the clay that we're want wanting to do for the uh, thing. Oh, clay, what? Clay bandage? We're just talking about if there's any more tiers to that, and the, is it going to be, oh, there's a clay mortar, okay, for the windmill. Is there any of the medical brew? The health brew? No? Okay. Well, look, a guy could hope, man. <laughs> we'll grab a bunch of these. I think we only got one. I need to double check and see. We got four. We got seven. That's not too bad. Let's grab a stack or so. Might as well. I mean, it's it's raining, man. It kind of softens up the clay. Makes it easier to get. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I have to remember where these nodes are. It looks like all the ones down here on the beach have them. But ten is what we needed all together if it's a one-to-one -one ratio. When we put it into the windmill. Yep, okay, look. I am not fighting with clay to harvest it. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep going and look for the easy ones. We got that one already. Really wish we could do something with the aloe though. That would have made sense for bandages. Or for even the, the healing potion too, right? So it looks like 
Maybe some new plants up here to take out? Mushrooms? Is that, like, bad for us? As I'm running through it? Oh, there's a new lizard! I don't know if it's tameable. We'll smack them around here in a second. I want to see something before I forget. These right here. I don't know if they're harvestable or not. Looks like a bunch of wood if they are. They're not. Uh, I tell you what, lost opportunity, man. Sounded like a huge frog. I don't know if you guys heard it. Oh, there's some structures up here, too. All right, let's smack around this, uh, this lizard a little bit. Hopefully not die. It's a very long way to come back and get our stuff. I, <laughs> I tell you what, man. I do not want to do that trip again. All right, so let's do this. He's weak to slash. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, we're going to die. Look, seeing how little that we did to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, we can be friends. Don't go that way. Come over here. Let me smack it with my mace. I mean, he's not doing... Okay, he is doing a lot of damage to us. That's a lot of damage. Let's heal up. Let's heal up. Yep, get over here. Mushrooms are saving us. New stuff, new stuff. Give us new stuff. It's like an alligator, dude. That's what it is. It's the alligator. We're in a swamp, man. It's another swamp. One more, one more. One more! I tell you what, it was one more for us, too. We got a claw. What? A lizard claw. Huh. I wonder what we can do with this. It adds a menacing edge to any armor or weapon. Maybe we can modify our gear and stuff? But that's some of the... Dude, that's a lot better than doing the lizards on the beach. You usually get just one and one. Or, or if you're lucky, two and one. That's a lot better, man. That's why the new armor costs so much, because... You can come over here and get more of the resources. Interesting. Kind of like a risk versus reward, I guess, right? They are a lot tougher, but you get more in return. Oh, dude, I'll tell you what. I fought a couple of those trying to get some parts before I started recording. Almost died multiple times. I mean, they're not safe, dude. Did you see the stinger that comes out of those guys? It is massive, dude. Some clay over here. Easy to reach clay. Grab a little bit more. Do a little bit more checking, and then we'll head back to base. I'm going to take the express route back again. It is a very, very long run on foot. You get back to base. Yep, you're fine, dude. You're fine. I am not going to try to smack you around. I'd appreciate it if you would do the same. How much are we up to? We got 20. Couple more, and we'll have a full stack of 30, and that should do us for today's video. Oh, look at it all, man. It is everywhere, dude. That is fantastic. Seems how you can use it for building. At least it's not a rare resource. It's kind of down in the ground. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's almost a little bit hard for me to see as well. It's the uh, the storms, dude. I can't wait till summertime comes. That way we uh, don't have as much rain. I do have it set to where the, not only are the days longer, I got them set at the max for two hours. I've got the season set for uh, 600 minutes, I think. It's a max you can go. So it's definitely a, uh, <laughs> a long season. We're going to be in spring for a long time, is what I'm saying. Look, man, I'm small, dude. Help me reach, dude. Help me reach. There we go. That's even better. All right, last two. We're done here. We'll see the uh, look on the map and see where we're at, too. Oh, we are way inland. I didn't think we came that far in. This is kind of the beach that we landed on. So we're almost at the end of the map over here. Not very much further. Might as well go ahead and see what's around here. I will definitely be doing a lot of hunting over here. Probably bring more bandages. So we're going to have to definitely get some better gear, too, right? We're kind of got the top of the line gear. And I thought stuff was going to be super easy because of that, but it's obviously not. What is that? There's a new creature over there. Where did it go? Is that a frog? That's a beetle. A stag beetle. Spider sense. Pierce damage. He uh, resisted it a little bit. Let's, <laughs> let's use some spike against him. Alright, here's the thing, man. I do not want to die like with that lizard. So if we have to, where are we going to run to? Maybe just up here and jump off? Try that. Smack it around, Junior. Kind of cool, man. Black beetle. Totally missed. Swing and a miss. It's another tough one. Yep. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. We're kind of in the middle of him. He can't reach us! He can't reach us! Okay, he can reach us. He can reach us. 
He does a ton of damage too. Alright, let's do this. One more hit. Let's do the bandage. Heal over time. Bandage. Heal over time. There we go. Okay. We're not doing good. Let's, uh, medical brew. Medical brew. Medical brew! There we go. A little bit of a drink. Get that good boost. And that guy's no joke, man. It's those pinchers. There we go. Good hit on him. It's hard to get a hit because whenever he hits us, he kind of moves back. Okay. We need to heal up. Heal up. Hold on, dude. I'm healing, man. Oh, I think he came just in time, man. The, uh, the medical brew. Let's do a bandage, too. Get our heal over time going. He's almost dead. I mean, so are we. 50-50, dude. 50-50 deal. Look, he's got better aim than I do. One more. Oh, we got him. Oh, fantastic. What do we got? We got heavy chitin. Six pieces. Totally worth it. Totally worth it, man. It's like killing two of the roaches. You get three on each of those, and I usually lose almost all my health killing one of the roaches. Got a little bit of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. We're good on this. But that's the main thing. Ah, dude, that is fantastic. That guy was tough, though, man. So, the other armor we will be building here soon. It has a lot, little bit better protection, right? I think two points for each part. So, that should make coming over here a little bit easier. Like I said, I'll come over here farming off camera to get enough stuff. I don't see any new resources for actual harvesting. Wait, is that new? Probably the usual wood fiber and... Oh, it's not. It's nectar seeds and, okay, some of that stuff. The, uh, resident alligator. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I like the area. I actually like the area over here better than I do over on the other chunk of land. Just looks better, you know? Well, you've already fought those. I don't want to mess with those guys. That, that stinger at the end, right there, where my thing is in the middle. Yep, no joke, dude. No joke. It's like 30 foot long. <laughs> it kind of seems that way. Anything else over here before we go? Oh, what is this? It's the ocean. Junior, is this a way out? Can we escape the island? A lot of clay. I like it. You can actually come out here. Nope, it's blocked off. I was gonna say, that's pretty cool if you can actually go all the way out. Look at that, man. A whole new world out there. That's, uh, small and two. Right over there. Not, not really. I mean, it'd be kind of cool, but not really. Alright, I am gonna head back to base. We got some more stuff to build. Stuff to check out. Let's go ahead while we're right here. We might as well. So I'll see you back at base, man. We'll try to get that stuff set out. See what it unlocks for us. Go ahead and see if we can repair our stuff without spinning anything. Nice, man. Uh, wait. Almost, man. Almost. We lost a ton of durability on that chest piece. Same with this, too. So, chitin and insect wings. I'll do that later. Not a big deal. But, dude, we took a lot of damage from those two creatures that we fought. So, what are we missing? So, the clay mortar. We need to see about that. We're going to need 10 altogether. We need the fiber string and the brick. Let's do the brick first. I put some of it up here. There's that. We're gonna need some fiber string. Let's just make five. Ten. We're good. We're good. That's enough. One more. Even number. We're gonna need... Wood. And ten more stone brick. It's not... Whoop, wrong button. There we go. It happens, it happens. Look, I'm new here. Alright, so stone brick is going to be that. And that. I think we need a tin more. And then some wood. We should be good to go, man. One stack, we are so full on so much stuff. Oh, you know what? We need the, uh, the clay. Make that over here in the windmill. It's facing a different direction, too. <laughs> it's wherever the wind comes from, I guess. So there's a the clay mortar. Oh, we need the bug limbs. Thank goodness we're using those for something, because the amount of those things I trash and don't pick up, eat for a snack, and having storage, it's ridiculous, man. 
I wasn't kidding. I mean, I, I leave so many on the ground and stuff because it just, they drop from everything. But, seeing how we have to build with them, it's kind of a good thing. Alright, so I think we needed 20 altogether. Or 10. We're just gonna make them all up. Oh, that's two for each one. Ah, uh, dude, please tell me we have enough. If I have to go back, I mean, I'm going to. I am not gonna be happy. Oh, there we go. Heavy chitin. Wait, we can make that in the furnace? What? I don't have to farm for it anymore? Close the doors. Letting all the bugs in and the air out. I'll tell you what, every single door in this house is open. I mean, <laughs> the, the windows, dude. <laughs> the windows are open too, so anyways. The way it goes sometimes. Let's do this first. That's going to be, oh, it's only five, ten. Oh, we're good, man. We're good. We got plenty. Put you right there. Nothing unlocked, okay. Slightly disappointing, not going to lie. We'll put you... Right there. Iron chest. <gasps> New chests. That is awesome. So for that, we need iron ingots and refined wood. A chest with large storage capacity, resistant, and finely decorated. Fantastic. The frontal aloe decoration makes it an absolute favorite among the small folk clergy. Interesting. Anything else? Oh, there's some of the new parts. Ah, dude, I'm so glad this is filling in with new stuff. It's so nice, man, seeing a bunch of different parts for building and stuff. It's nice, man. It's nice, man. It makes it, uh, makes building fun, right? So, what do you have? Charcoal? Okay. So, we're going to burn wood in there. Wait, what? As a result of burning wood at a furnace, this dense, dark block of fuel can be used in the furnace and the forge. So, we have to make charcoal... To run the furnace or the forge. Wait, to run the furnace? We need the charcoal. Oh, you just make it with wood. I thought we had to actually burn it in... Okay, never mind. Look. Iron shards, okay. So we bottle cap, screw, and charcoal. So is that the same thing that we're looting down on the ground? Maybe that's just another way to make it. There's the heavy chitin, so that's going to be charcoal, clay, and mortar. So I, I do like this, man. I like being able to loot the actual part of heavy chitin, but then you can also make it as well, right? It kind of... Well, one, it uses up a lot of your extra resources, but two, it gives you a different way. Maybe some people like fighting the bugs all the time. Maybe some don't, so, you know, options, man. Iron ingot's going to be the iron shards and charcoal. That's going to be a lot of our wood gets used here. The oven. Oh, dude. There's the caramelized ant head we keep finding that everybody has. That's going to be nectar, honey crumble, and ants. So this is the good food right here. This is the, like the really good stuff, man. It's got 70 on the nourishment and blocks nourishment loss for 720 seconds. That is over 10 minutes. Spider heads, honey biscuits. Oh, dude, I tell you what, honey biscuits. So there's some of the flour. I was wondering what the flour gets used for. It uses like a lot of stuff that we have extras up too. So I wonder... If it's a one-to-one -one ratio on these, strawberry cake. Or if it's a one-to-two, we'll have to see, man. Are any of these for taming? They all just say can heal creature. Okay. Kind of expensive food to be feeding them. And then over here at the forge, we've got... Oh, an iron pickaxe! Harder than any rock, this tool uh, demolishes mineable resources with ease. Fantastic! Very expensive, very long list of stuff. That's going to be an iron hammer. Well, we were talking about that not too long ago, man. The iron hammer, you know, some kind of hammer. I like the hammers. That is 40 to 45 damage. Well, 39 to 45. We got a sword as well. 24 to 33. An axe, is that made for edge damage? So that is for fighting. Interesting, a scythe. I was hoping this was going to be used for... I wish you could use it as dual, right? For chopping down trees and stuff, and for fighting. Scythe is new. That's a new kind of blade. We might use that instead of the sword. So 24 to 33. 21 to 35. So one of these is going to be faster. Probably this one. 20 stamina. 20 stamina. It's got higher blocking power. And then the Morning Star. So it's a mace. You get blunt and pierce. Interesting. So 21 to 28. This is 10 to 16, 
and 12 to 14 on poison. Hmm. We'll be getting rid of this. I don't know. I like the maces, man. They seem pretty cool. So maybe we'll do this and the scythe and use those for our weapons. That covers the slash and then the blunt and the pierce. So that's not too bad. Ah, oh, dude, that is a lot of stuff, man. So that's where the lizard claw is used as well. Looks like just in that one. I mean, which is fine, which is fine. But like I said, man, everything all the way from the fiber, which you get at the start, and then like the wood gets refined into the charcoal. It's got a whole progress system. I really like that in games. That way everything is still usable. So we're not just moving from one area of the map to a different one, right? And then you never go back to the beginning one because there's nothing that you need there. You actually need stuff from all the areas. And that just, I don't know, to me that makes a good game, man. I want to be able to visit places that I've already been to and not just new ones all the time. And it kind of, uh, kind of seems like that's how it's working out here. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. We got actually three new pieces of equipment. I thought we were only going to have two. We've got a ton of stuff unlocked for new weapons. We got new tools. We got a new area for farming for different resources. We got different ways to get resources. So overall, not too bad of a day. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed our adventure in Smallland today. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.